Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 23rd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you an update on our sun today. World weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes looking at the last 48 hours on the sun. Pretty quiet, considering we do have three bright regions coming in, as well as large plasma filament dancing off the northwestern limb. A couple bright B and C flare ranges, or C range flares, looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Huge plasma filament probably stood about the height of 10 Earths as well. Some minor active sunspots coming in there, firing off B and C class range flares. But still pretty quiet, even in the outgoing position. Seems to be lots of activity on the backside of the sun, though. As yesterday, we reported that large solar flare that took off. Another close look here at the plasma rope dancing around and then lifting away and some sucking back into the sun as well pointing out these two regions as they are the next players coming into the earth facing disc multi-spectrum here you can see everything from plasma filaments coronal holes sunspots cmes and then 171 angstroms here where we can really see the dark regions which are the coronal holes we do have another one turning into earth facing position right now and as well growing looking at lasco 3 at that little plasma filament ejecting away from the sun so that was a coronal mass ejection not in an earth facing position looking at iswa space prediction still only showing that large solar flare from two days ago that took off from the back side of the sun right at mercury solar x-ray flux as i said is in b and c class range geomagnetic activity is slightly elevated today as we are going through the coronal hole wind stream our real-time solar winds are at 466 kilometers per second very jagged solar wind stream today as we are being hit by the elements schumann resonance for today is a power of 12 that's about half the energy that was reported in the video from two nights ago. So amplitude of 12, quality of 7.7, .7, power of 7. Let's get to earthquakes here for the past 24 hours. It's been pretty busy. Just over 280 earthquakes across the world, according to USGS. We're going to start out here, though, with a pretty sizable earthquake, 5.1 earthquake in Jerome, Haiti, 5.1 earthquake as well. Virgin Islands seeing a 3.8, 4.3 there in the Americas, Mexico, and as well Guatemala, Conception. Very quiet across the U.S. Minor regular earthquakes as well. Very quiet Hawaii. Increasing seismicity through Alaska as forecasted two nights ago. 4.7 Port Allsworth, Alaska. Pretty deep as well, 140 kilometer depth. Looking at South America here, Peru, 4.3, and as well a 4.2 just south of it. 4.2 there, Equic, Chile. And as well, 4.4 San Antonio de la Cobros. Still a pretty quiet South American plate today. 5.1 here, reported Mid Atlantic Ridge. 4.3 here, Metsavin, Armenia. And as well, Tajikistan, 4.4. As well, 4.0 there, Pakistan. And then we get to Taiwan, where yesterday they reported a 6.7 earthquake. Still seeing many aftershocks through the region. Followed by a 5.8. So Taiwan is a rock, and then there were videos going all over the place of Things shaking and dam and buildings being damaged. So prayers going out to everybody affected. Quick look here in reference. No deep earthquakes to talk about through Fiji. Japan is just a rockin' right now. And here, let's just show you. This is the last 48 hours for earthquakes. 
I wanted to show you that the 6.7 occurred yesterday at a 24 kilometer depth, Hulian City, Taiwan, as well. At the same time, pretty much, we had a 6.7 mid Atlantic Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. And isn't that interesting? Totally opposite of the world antipode, opposite antipode. Quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Please, everybody, just have a plan and be ready. Our world is a shaking right now. We were going through a lot of events together. And I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the community and as well this journey with daily events worldwide, a.k.a. Morning Dew, a.k.a. Milkman, a.k.a. Mike. I'm here for you, keeping humanity aware and prepared. If you enjoyed these videos, please don't forget to hit the like button. Maybe leave a comment, let me know, and as well, share with your friends and family. Much love. Having a look here at Pacific Disaster Center, as we had almost reported 20 tornadoes touching down, including an F3 tornado touching down in New Orleans yesterday, 20 ripping through Texas with that large system that I reported. And just recently, Jacksonville, Florida, Seeing tornado warnings as well. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Raleigh, and North Carolina. And as well, flood alerts are popping up all over the place with this strong, fast, and but slow-moving system. Very strong winds coming through Ontario right now as the system moves northward. Having a look at the satellite imagery, this is where the brunt of the systems were tearing up the U.S. Again, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected. Most recent tornado warnings going off here, Florida and North Carolina. Let's have a quick look at the volcanoes getting updated today. Recon, Rincon de la Veja in Colombia. That is another newly awakened. Nevada Steru is in Colombia. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. Sangay in Ecuador. Sabincaya in Peru. Fuego, Guatemala. Raventador in Ecuador, Simaru, Indonesia. So that is now 53 volcanoes that are erupting across the planet, and that is the most I've reported on this channel. Having a look here, satellite imagery across the world, looking at high surf advisories for Hawaii, stormy conditions southeastern Australia, tropical cyclone Charlotte, northwest of Australia, will be making landfall, believe it or not, west coast southwest coast of Australia, stormy conditions, India, southern India, and as well Sri Lanka, storms in South Africa, stormy conditions through Spain, as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Let's get to the forecast, world weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide, looking at this system slowly moving up the northeastern seaboard of the United States and the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Watch for rain to continue for the next few days, right up into Saturday for the Atlantic provinces. And then snow moving in on the backside as far south as North Carolina, as well snowy conditions through Alberta this week and very wet conditions across BC coastline as forecasted atmospheric river of moisture just pounding the coastlines there. As well, very large low pressure system, the Atlantic, overlooking Europe, still forecasting a pretty strong system here to head into parts of Sweden and Finland. As well, Spain experiencing a low pressure system that's going to be jetting across, and then another one by Tuesday, Wednesday. Watch for stormy conditions to move into Italy, overlooking Southeast Asia. Indonesia, Malaysia. We do have a tropical system developing for the Philippines. Watch for this to race west and then northwest up into Thailand. Overlooking Australia. Dry week in the long range, but lingering showers and stormy conditions southeastern parts. No storms to talk about just yet until Saturday the 26th when Tropical storm 
Charlotte makes landfall and then heads north and then heads south, just kind of rakes up and down the southwest coast there. Overlooking New Zealand, pretty strong low pressure system affecting you the next couple days. Overlooking Hawaii, watch for a system to head your way. That low is going to be heading straight for the island by Sunday, April 3rd. As well, pretty strong system coming out late forecast for the Gulf and southeastern parts of the United States. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, stormy conditions through Argentina Tuesday into Wednesday. And then overlooking Africa, no major weather events to talk about except for that system there, South Africa, and as well, rainy conditions through Madagascar. Leave you here looking at windy.com, the forecast wind models. Look at the size of this system. Wow. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.